Well, howdy folks, Hell Correct here, and welcome to episode 138 of Mercenary Thoughts from Nanosphere. And today we're going to be talking about the 80 ton assault mech, the Victor. V for victory, maybe? Uh, the Victor, 80 tons. Uh, if you want to go back and look at episode 21, one of the early, early ones that I did, forgive the quality of it, but hey. Uh, the Victor, I just do a little bit of discussion about how you're supposed to run that thing is that night fighter version of it. And today we're going to be talking about the 9K, the 3050 version, which has been upgraded with all kinds of goodies from the factory. All right, the 9K comes in, I said it's 80 tons with endo steel. So we got four tons of extra savings there. Still a 464. 15 heat sinks singles. Mm. If you're upgrading the endo steel, why not upgrade the heat sinks? It still comes in with a low armor value of 200, which is basically three tons, I think, three tons short of maximum. Then it comes in with uh, some decent weapon in the right arm. Is the Gauss rifle? Yes, a Gauss rifle with two tons of ammo on the right torso in case, in case the thing blows up. And to be honest with you, almost every thing, like every time I take a Gauss rifle armed mech out, it never fails that someone punches through the arm or wherever it may be, and then I end up with an exploding Gauss rifle. Yep, that's why you need case. Too bad you can't put it around a cockpit to protect the pilot from his two extra hits he's going to take. But it happens. All right, then in the left arm, we got two medium pulse lasers for very short, in close fighting capability. And in the left torso, we have an SRM4 with a ton of ammo and case. Then we got right and left leg jump jets. All right, what do I think of the Victor? This thing goes from being a knife fighter where you have to we bob and weave, duck and uh, maneuver yourself around the battlefield as you're trying to deliver your pill dispenser up close and personal up within nine to something that's going to sit back and go, hey, hi, and I'm going to give you uh, this uh, nickel steel ferrous uh, love pill here and deliver it to you. All right. So... That's one thing about it has been just improved. It's like now you have something that can sit back. Yeah, it's not doing 20 points of damage, but the amount of damage you're going to do if you're closing in closer is going to mitigate what you're losing with the 20, all right? Because now you can sit there and just bang away as you're slowly closing with uh, that rifle and doing job, uh, a good job of taking armor off people. And for the inner sphere, something that does 15 points of damage in 3050, you're the only thing you got to have is the Gauss rifle. Unlike the clans, which have those ERPPCs, which is like, why not run the ERPPCs or large pulse lasers on clan mechs to begin with? Beyond me, but the uh, damage that you're going to get is going to greatly increase. Uh, what the capabilities of this mech all right so you have that so your, your two choices that with it is that you can sit back and use it as like a fire support mech direct fire that is uh just banging away hitting somebody tearing armor off of them right and left in a fire support mode let's say this mech now could be used as a good shepherd for let's say some archers and catapults long bows that are sitting there in the backfield let's say you got a fire support lance and you got this guy and like well he's a good bodyguard because he can still do damage at longer ranges and if someone tries to close in with that lance he can turn around and get in their face all right and who wants to if you're a light or medium mech you really probably don't want to tangle with somebody that's a assault because you see this coming and go like, hello i'm going to come over and uh introduce you to my little uh pez dispenser here you know if that hits 
there isn't many light mechs or medium mechs that can handle that 15 points of damage. And if you get in close, well, gent, you got the SRM4 and a couple of pulse lasers to back it up. Now, you don't have to worry too much about the heat problems uh, with this thing, you know, because uh, 13, 14, and if you jump, that's 18. So if you fired all your weapons ahead, jumped, yeah, you're going to go up on the heat scale by three. So you can do that for a turn without any problems with your movement modifiers or any type of other mod uh, modifiers. So there is that. So that is a pretty decent uh, mech now that with the uh, the Gauss rifle, and I like it. And if I had a choice between the other version versus the uh, the new Victor, I'd probably take the new Victor all the way. And it's uh, just because the Gauss rifle, I think, improves it greatly. Now there is a few other different variants out there. We have the 9C, which is basically this mech, but you lose one heat sink, so you drop down to 14. Still, for some reason, they're keeping it as single heat sinks, but they turn around and give it a C3 slave. So you take out one heat sink and give it a slave. All right. So if you have a lance where you have a master unit in it. This works pretty good. So if you have a fire, let's say you put him in a fire support mode, uh, he could sit there. If you got an eyes and ear mech out in front of you with another slave, and that shortens your range and you're able to hit better. Okay, that's great. Obviously, you're going to need one of those other mechs in the land. It's going to have to have a master unit, which is five tons. So that's going to preclude maybe a mech with. Um, one of the launchers but there's nothing really wrong with if you have a uh, master unit with xl engines because its whole purpose is to usually uh, have that master unit and the 10 inch savings you have with the xl engine because you're not going to want that uh, master unit being parked up on the front line because it's high technology type of mech so you're probably going to put it farther in the back so there you go that's what my kind of my thoughts on it over the years uh plague with uh, c3 systems but that is a pretty decent uh, version which could be made better with uh, some double heat sinks but then we have the 10d which is basically the older version has the ultra 20 cannon with case uh with 30 round ca capacity wow that's a lot of rounds for that thing but you know if you're double pumping every turn which you get into range if you've lived long enough to get in range because if i see in somebody with ultra 20 coming i guarantee you're going to be uh attracting a little bit more attention uh say so it has the case uh streak technology has been added so it has an SRM4 streak and pulse laser has been swapped out for extended range version. So you get a couple ER uh, medium lasers, you got a streak four and an ultra 20. And it also has 12 double heat sinks. So finally we got one that has, so we were looking around the 30, let's say 30, 60 or around there at that time frame. I think this is when that one uh, pops at 30, 58, something like that. But in you know, the, took them that long to put double heat sinks on it so it's not that hard of a deal if with the mo the saving modifier that you're going to get by swapping from singles to doubles you know then you can take that tonnage and throw it someplace else like armor and we got the compelling configuration produced the 10l uh, which is mounting an ecm uh, system it carries around full maxed out uh, stealth armor obviously uh, retains the gauss rifle but adds an additional ton of ammunition so it has three the srm system expanded into an srm6 standard and an additional medium laser had been added to the center line like the arms this is a extended range version so you got er medium lasers you got an srm6 launcher and you still have the the gauss rifle but it carries around stealth armor so we're moving a little bit farther down the, the 
development line down the pat around 30 60 plus so uh that isn't a bad thing so obviously what they did was the uh using the double heat sinks and uh taking that tonnage and then wrapped it up into other systems so that yeah, makes sense totally and then we get the 11 d delta which replaces the gauss rifle with a rack five so you got a, a rotary auto cannon five with three tons of ammunition that can chew through pretty quickly the s arm has been upgraded to a streak system has two yard large lasers replacing the uh, pulse laser adding two tons of armor to the legs and arms it has a c3 slave and operates as part of the network it has 15 double heat sinks are carried with all the ammunition and case in the magazine so okay so that one once again is like they took a mech upgraded it to uh more advanced technology that's on the field and then added uh, a little bit other upgrades including the double heat sinks so that was not a bad one but that you're still once again getting a little farther down the line from the 3050 or which we're sitting at now let's say you got a victor either let's say you have this one and it comes right off the uh assembly line and you just picked it up hey this baby here and as the salesman slaps it can take out anything that's on the battlefield he's like i'll buy it take as you're sitting there and take your sea bills and just like whap them out there it's like take my money and shut up so now you got a victor and your tech goes looks at well sir we can do some wonderful things to it well what can you do uh, well let's see let's get rid of these single heat sinks and just put doubles in all right you're looking at that and you have your 15 heat sinks and if you just went with 10 doubles you have five more heat you can dissipate and then you got five tons to play with all right what can we do with those five tons well obviously you already got into steel so there's probably not going to be any room because of the end of steel and with other with the gauss rifle and everything taking up so much space you're not going to be able to put ferro fiber side no you just don't have the room for it for uh all the wonderful crit slots but we can throw on a couple uh, uh, tons of armor upgrade it with a couple tons of armor I would probably since you already have the SRM 6 I would upgrade that to an or SRM 4 upgrade it to an SRM 6 there's one ton right there so now we still have two tons left over and I would be more inclined to add uh, replace where you had the two heat sinks and replace them with like two more medium lasers so now you have a little bit better enclosed defense uh, system so <clears throat> now you have a Mac that has a Gauss rifle two pulse lasers an SRM 6 and a medium laser yeah you like you kind of look at that and the heat you create is a little bit more than I think that you can uh, handle I think it's one so yeah let's see 10 18 19 yeah so <clears throat> now you have a mech that creates 19 heat you dissipate 20 so if you don't move you're going to be fine you're not going to create any heat now if you walk okay you, just, you balance zero sum balance if you run you go up one now when it comes to difference here is if you jump okay let's say you do jump and you fired everything you had then you're going to uh, jump up by uh, what three so that isn't bad you can do that for a turn without any problems so that there in itself is one way to create a mech that's a little bit better than you had before so just by getting rid of some of those heat sinks you get a little bit more armor sure it's one ton short of being maxed out but uh with a couple more weapon systems and doing and an upgraded srm so now actually you got a mech that's going to be doing a little bit more damage 
and can handle the heat just as well as the other one did okay so there you go now let's say you don't want to have a whole bunch of ammo stored in the other torso you could uh, go with dropping the SRM and let's see I got a version here that I've run before so you take the same uh, mech you got the gauss rifle you got the two medium pulse lasers now you have um, got rid of still got 10 double heat sinks so you drop from 15 to 10 double heat sinks and still going off what you had before you still had the two medium lasers but i dropped the srm4 in favor of guardian ecm ah you say what guardian ecm yes put ecm on this thing because uh if you're facing the clans and you got a lot of artemis and stuff like that or if you're facing against uh some say the draconians combined with their c3 system ecm comes in handy all right and that's i like putting ecm on a lot of my mechs so there you go then uh you still have a little bit more tonnage left and i put on two medium lasers all right so then you have that there so you got ecm two more medium lasers so you got you got a mech that has a gauss rifle two pulse lasers two medium lasers in one torso the other torso uh, wherever you had the uh, srm now you put in ecm and then a couple medium lasers so there you go so now you got a mech that has really good up close and personal in their face with a whole bunch of medium lasers pulse lasers and the gauss rifle and a little bit of bubble protection to protect them from taking all that extra little bit of uh, bonus damage that comes their way so <clears throat> that is the victor in a nutshell that's kind of like what i used for it so you have a couple choices now so now you got a mech that can either stand off shoot at range or it can still close putting uh those love pills down range and knocking some armor off so when they do get in close for the rest of the lance that they're with can do some wonders with uh doing all the damage that or getting ch crit chances and stuff like that so there is it in a nutshell so you got a couple options so still you might want to continue to use that cover and concealment get off the open terrain and park in your butt in the open use cover and concealment make sure you're always getting into the the wooded areas covering everything up and protect yourself keep moving all right that's it that's the victor i like it it's a good mech and it can be med made better with a few more modifications which can be done in the field by any self-respecting uh, tech so there you go hope you like it like and subscribe and share with all your friends and we will talk with you later elk rex out